Well, and I guess what is maybe the overriding, uh, what these guys can say, what, what's kind of the overriding emotion as you leave here? Obviously, didn't, didn't get the win, but now when kind of a win and end scenario next week. Yeah, it's like mixed emotions, you know. Um, losing hurts, and I hate losing, and, and that's kind of what my feeling is right now is that we just lost the game. Obviously, you know, we understand the situation, and, and next week we have an opportunity to uh, to win to get in. But for me personally, it's just it's tough to lose a game, especially when we had a shot there, you know, in the fourth quarter, down three. Um, you know, I had a great feeling about it. I thought we were going to go down and, and win the game. We weren't able to do that. So... Uh, it hurts. It hurts. You, you hate losing, and, and uh, you know, proud of the way the guys battled, but we just didn't do enough to, to win the game. What were your thoughts, Ryan, on the, on the hit to Khalid that, that caused the fumble? Did that look like a hit to a defenseless receiver to you? Or what? Yeah, I mean, that's, a, that's one of those great, great hits, obviously. Um, you hate to see one of our guys get hit like that, or really anybody. You know, you hate to see him get hit like that in the head. Um, you know, I'll let the officials officiate, but, uh, you know, definitely hate to see anybody get hit in the head like that, you know, it's uh, just a tough play and, and don't like to see it. What was that play like, I guess, for you from an emotional standpoint? You think it's a catch and then did you see the ball out immediately and then start chasing? Yeah, I mean, uh, they, they did a good job uh, taking away John number one, and uh, reset and saw Khalif give him a good move at the top, was able to give him the football over a backer. And uh, so I'm thinking, yeah, we're, we're across midfield, we're, uh, we're rolling. And I you know, saw the hit. I didn't see the ball come out initially, but I saw their guys. I was kind of behind the O line, saw the guys scrambling for the ball, uh, and uh, you know knew what it was then. Um, but wasn't sure what the call was going to be because it was so bang bang. Obviously, didn't go our way. AJ said Lattimore is probably the toughest corner he's, he's ever seen in his rookie year. What can, what can he learn? You think from going against a, a guy like that? Yeah, I think AJ had, had some opportunities and did a good job. You know, you see the, there at the end, you know, winning on a, on a go route and. Uh, and he, he, he made some plays for us, but um, I don't think I don't think AJ was locked down by any means. I think we have a ton of respect for Lattimore and what he could do, and he played extremely well. But uh, you know, I think AJ had some had some routes, and Reed took me the other side a couple times. And looking on the pictures, he, he was still winning on the, on the back side. So uh, obviously, he'll he'll grow from the experience. But I, I thought he did a good job today. You guys are used to getting explosive plays from Derek. Obviously, he didn't play today. How nice to, in the first half, see John U, AJ, and some others making those explosive plays for you guys. Well, it's huge. You know, those guys have been, been coming up big for us all year. Obviously, tough not having Derek back there, but uh, we had guys step up and, and make plays. You know, got out to a, an early lead and then uh, couldn't sustain that through the second uh, second quarter. And I think that's what, what hurt us is, is yeah, we, we, got, we jumped out, but in the second quarter, we got to be better offensively and, and keep that momentum going and, and keep putting points on the board. You were able to get Corey Davis involved today. What was two that was it the Reeds play calls or what happened there? Yeah, we try to get we try to mix it around every week. You know, I just think that the way it fell today, you know, Corey was winning on his routes and we were able to get the football. So um, yeah, we're gonna try to have a few plays every week to to mix the ball around. It just matters week to week, you know, if uh, coverage allows it and, and if they win. So a lot of factors go into that. What would you, kind most, of, like, uh, what would you most like to to change from last week, maybe uh, against Houston, that you feel like would enhance the chance to come out of there successful? Uh, I think we've got to start faster. Um, seems like so long ago. I'm trying to figure, remember how that game went, um, especially just coming after off the field one. But yeah, I think we got to we got to start faster, which we did today. But then, you know, sustain sustain that momentum and and just keep it rolling. Be consistent throughout the game. Obviously, you're not going to score every drive, but uh, or probably not. But uh, you just want to be consistent and, and move the football and execute. I think we, we had opportunities to do that today, and, and we did at times. Just got to be consistent with it. What well, do you think is for you guys on offense? Tajay's came a big for us. You know, you get some big plays today, uh, a couple off-schedule off plays. You know, he's, he's finding the open spot, and then, uh, you know, saw the speed for him to get in the end zone on the long one, and then uh, kind of high in the back there on, on the second touchdown. So he's a guy who's uh, got a lot of range. He's, he's long. He's got a great stride. He can, he can do it all for us. We put him at every position, so he really opens up a lot of things for us. Is there anything in particular the Saints' pass rush was doing? They created it seemed like a lot of pressure, especially in the first half. Yeah, I'll have to go back and look look at it uh, on tape and see um, and see what exactly was going on. You know, I think uh, the offensive line did a good job battling through that, and I uh, think giving me time there there in the second half. You know, a couple plays I got 
was able to extend and then uh, and find receivers. So uh, got to give credit for the way that they just battled through that and, and then protected me in the second half. Do you think there were times where maybe you held on too long? Uh, yeah, I think there's a, a couple plays there in the first half where, um, you know, I could just find somebody to, uh, to dirt it to. Um, you know, there was, a, was a, some, some ones that I don't think I could have got it out, and there was a couple that, you know, I could have probably found a way to just dirt it and, uh, and live for another day. Ryan, the hope now that uh, maybe taking a game off, if Derek is able to go next week, that he's healthier for the win and end? Yeah, we want to get Derek back. You know, I think he, uh, he's been crucial to our offense the whole year. I think anyone can, uh, can see that and what he brings to the table. Obviously, not having him out today was, was uh, tough, but, you know, he wasn't ready to go. So hopefully another week of rest will uh, we'll get him back close to 100% and he'll be ready to go on Sunday. Were you forced to make some changes to the plan to find out Saturday that you weren't going to have him? Obviously, he's a pretty big part of what you guys want to do. Yeah, I'm sure we, we adjusted a little bit, but... Um, we're not making major changes. I think you know throughout the week we kind of figure out what we like against our defense, um, against that defense, not not specifically, you know, built around one player or anything like that. How important was it to, to maybe try out some different things in this game, just to practice for the playoffs? I mean, if you get in the playoffs and and uh, you know you were able to to try some plays today that uh, you might not have if you had Henry. Um. Yeah, I'm not sure that that was a factor at all. You know, I think uh, every week you try to mix things up and, and throw some different things out there. Um, we did have some some different stuff, but I think uh, we would have ran those regardless if, if Derek was playing or not. Okay. Thank you, Ryan. Thank you. Appreciate it.